She's a textbook case. We're on to a winner here. However, we were under that misguided impression previously and had to abort at the 11th hour. Are you sure you want to press on today? I see no reason to wait. These are medical professionals who act their age. I doubt very much we'll end up in a similar position. Is the patient amenable? Yes, perhaps a little apprehensive, but definitely up for it. I see. In that case... <clears throat> okay. Insert in scope. Mobilising the esophagus. Okay, looking for the damaged area. No sign of sepsis so far. Right. We're ready for the next. Check. What the hell? We have a bleed. That baby's heart rate's increased. It's probably getting distressed. We need to. We need to be quick. Right. Her bloods aren't clotting. It's. It's everywhere. <coughs> Temperature pretty cardio. I must have missed something. I. Miss Naylor? Melapristine. What? I... She knew she was pregnant. She was trying to abort. She's a nurse. She'd know what to take. Call the lab, get a tox. How did you miss this? Convert to an open procedure. I, I can't do this. All right, Mr. Fanger, take over. OK, BP's 110 over 81. So that's a 93 per cent. He's stabilising. Baby's heartbeat is at... It's a 120. Let's get the neonatologist down. Yeah, she's positive for malapristine. She must have been overdosing on it for a while. The side effects are probably what caused the car accident. Right, can we get clotting factors, FFP, platelets and fibrinogen, please? Well, that all happened. That's not like Jack. No, it isn't. Something must be wrong. Very. Swab there, please. 